This new Hunter build lets you chain arc abilities to a whole new level. You'll instantly get your grenade back when chaining arc bolts, all whilst getting a stupid amount of super energy from those grenade kills, and therefore getting your super in pretty much 20 seconds or so in most light activities. We'll be using some of the new Season 14 Elemental Well mods to make this build better. Whilst focusing on making our abilities as powerful as possible, this build works better in casual activities, but as we go along we'll optimise it to make it as effective as possible for harder end game master difficulty activities. So guys, rate, comment, sub and share, and let's get into it. Now as I mentioned, with this build you will be chaining your abilities, but most of all you will be chaining arc bolt grenades, and 9 times out of 10 if you use this build correctly you will always get your grenade back regardless of getting the kill with the grenade or not. As long as you're chaining bolts with that grenade you will get it back. Or should. If you don't for some reason, we'll be using mods so that you do get that grenade back as quick as possible to start that chain again. With this setup as well, we will be generating a lot of super energy on final blows with our grenade, and this is an ad clearing build, but you can use your super on bosses to deal a fair amount of good boss DPS. And before we get into the loadout and start creating this build, I will first quickly mention that I create builds like this every week, so if you want to see more, you can check out that full playlist linked below. So starting with the loadout, you actually don't need anything specific for this build, so you can use anything of your choice. Ideally, you'll use a weapon that can generate ability energy, so weapons that have a perk like Wellspring, Fresh, or Demolitionist, and those sort of things. But either way, for the loadout, use what you prefer, that way you'll enjoy the build more. Now for the subclass, we are going with Middle Tree Arc Strider. Now I have covered the top tree before last season, so this time we're going with the Middle Tree, which comes with the guard where we block incoming damage and then triple our damage when hitting enemies after, which is actually really good for boss DPS. But with this we also have Tempest Strike for a pretty nice melee ability, and Ebb and Flow to get extra ability energy when meleeing a target that has been affected by an arc ability, and lastly Lightning Weave where our melee hits increase weapon reload speed, great if you're using shotguns for boss DPS. For our exotic armor we're using Lucky Raspberry, we'll check this out soon, but for the helmet mods we are using Ashes to Assets for extra super energy on grenade kills, which if you are going into harder activities you might want to swap these out for an ammo finder mod, but for your gauntlets we're running Well of Irons, the new elemental well mod, which will give our melee extra damage when picking up an arc elemental well, and just so you guys know this is OP as hell with the top tree when you combine it with other melee damage buffs, but alongside this though we do have Impulse Recycler, which isn't 100% required but it does help to guarantee you getting that grenade back when using it most of the time, if for some reason you do mess up and don't get it back. But if you're in harder activities swap these out for your champion mods because you're going to need them and the only thing this build really relies on is our exotic chest Lucky Raspberry, where it increases the chaining capabilities of our arc bolt grenades and has a chance to recharge it each time it deals damage. But a full chain always recharges and the mod we have with this is Overload Wellmaker to spawn two arc elemental wells on finisher kills which also picking up these wells will give us ability NG as well to all our abilities because we are an arc subclass. But again, if you're going into harder activities, slot on some ammo reserve mods or damage resistant mods. I have slotted in some intellect mods, but I actually don't recommend doing this unless you're in casual activities because they do cost a lot of energy. For the legs though, we are using Font of Wisdom where picking up those elemental wells will increase our super's recharge rate. And then with this, we have Absolution for reduced ability cooldown. But again, switch this out to a scavenger mod for your heavy weapon when in harder activities. But lastly, for the class we use an elemental ordnance to spawn even more elemental wells on grenade final blows because we are a grenade ability build so we will be getting our grenade kills pretty much all the time and all of these wells we pick up will contribute to a lot of things from increased melee damage to increased intellect for faster super regen to getting ability energy for all our abilities and so on. Now you can replace some of these mods with an elemental charge to become charge of light and charge of light mods if you want but I thought for this build we'll max it out as a full elemental well build. Next though we have surge detonators to use against overload champions as we'll always have a grenade available which means we'll never be required to run two primary weapons for overload rounds which is a big advantage if you're doing things like a solo legend or master lost sector with overloads in as you can just throw a grenade to stun them and then finish them with a special weapon quickly. But alongside of this though we have distribution for reduced ability cooldown when using our dodge near enemies which we'll be doing anyway for the instant melee recharge as we'll be running the gambler's dodge. For your stats you want to max out mobility, discipline and intellect but 
prioritize mobility first to get those dodges quicker, as using those dodges will help us cool down our other abilities. Now this build, I'd rate it about a 7 out of 10. It's not the best, but it's also not the worst, and it is good to have a change from the meta builds and use something different and fun. But again, I'd use this mostly in casual activities more than harder activities, as this is more of a fun and casual build than one of those sweaty top OP builds, but overall this is quite a nice relaxing build to use in all types of activities, but it will be more effective in lighter activities like strikes and gambit. Anyway, that is all for this quick hunter build video. Next, you guys want to go check out the playlist for more top insane best builds of season 14, season of the splicer. But for now, give this one a try. Comment below what you think or what your favourite build is. Drop a rating, subscribe and share as it really helps me out, and I'll see you all shortly for the next one this week. Bye.